we had to wait for almost an hour. Let's try it. I see hope if it's, it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then like, sorry, we sold out. We don't have any more donuts for you. Don't take her comment on this one. <laughs> take want... it with a grain of salt. Very cinnamony. 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 Oh, sales sponsor said. <laughs> <laughs> this one's what they're. This is what everyone comes for. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet cream. Welcome everyone to the next episode of the series Snacks in Yen's Car! The special guest for today is my cousin, Alina! Hi! My name is Alina, I'm 16, and I really really like sweet things. Joining us today is someone that is on every episode. Ta-da! Hi, it's me. You know what we're gonna get? No. <laughs> oh, you really don't know? No, I don't! We're gonna get donuts! We're gonna go to three different places today. Each of them gonna be different, different types of donuts. So, let's go to the first place. You remember I asked you to meet in the middle. Now I'm here all alone again. You remember I call you. You were talking in riddles. Now you're lying to me again. You think I'm going crazy, but I'm not missing you. I only miss the illusion you pretend. Okay, so we went to our first place. Is it the flower box? It's the flower box. So that place is super, super crowded and it's like a hype. Sometimes you have to wait for half an hour to an hour or more than that to get your donuts. And sometimes it's not guaranteed as well. We had to wait for almost an hour. Let's try it to I see if it's, it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah. yeah. They look so cute. Here are the four flavors. They have little dollops on top. It's yeah. So they also have like the rotation of flavors as well. Today they have... They have a creme brulee, strawberry cream, double chocolate, and then fruity pebbles. They all look so good. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. Which one should we try first? Do you want to go in order? Brulee? Let's go from the top to the bottom. This one's a Madagascar vanilla bean cream with hand torch caramelized sugar on top. This is it sugar crunchy? Mm, yeah, if you eat green poulet before, it's like a layer of torch sugar on top So it's kind of crunchy and then when you get to the bottom, it's creamy The same goes for this one. This is not too sweet mm, yeah. I think this is like a good medium. You can really taste the vanilla, but I like really sweet things So this is not my favorite. Mm. It's really good. So I think the torch the uh, the uh, donut so you can actually kind of taste the smoke mm -hmm. the smokiness from the donut. Mm -hmm. The filling is not too sweet I think it's really good. Uh, it's, it's a light donut. Mm. It's a light donut. That's a good way to describe it. Usually when you get donut, they can be a little bit like... Dense, thick. Dense. But this one is really light. And also the crunch adds, add like a nice texture to like Definitely. the donut. Definitely. So the texture is really puffy, nice. it's airy, it's not super dense. I like the top too, like where mm. it's the crunchy part. It's a good contrast to the yeah. rest of it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Let's go with the strawberry. Yeah. yeah. House made organic strawberry jam. I think this is one of their basics. A little fresh strawberry on top. Let's see yeah. how fresh it how is. How fresh is the strawberry? So after tasting the cream bullet, now you eat a strawberry, it's so sour. Really? <laughs> yeah. Here. Okay. I really like strawberries, so I hope this one's good. Mm. I like the filling on this one. The filling definitely tastes, you can taste the jam really good. It feels fresh. Yeah, I think all of these are gonna be like kind of yeah. mild. I think that's why it got super popular. It's yeah. like perfect amount of sweet. Mm. The donut is similar to the other one, but it's just not crunchy like the other one because it, it wasn't torched. But yeah. it is still like airy and puffy. They also sell drinks inside the store. We got three drinks. So for me, I got the Decha Mu. So it is single origin chocolate milk cold brew with vanilla bean syrup. I need to get some coffee to get my morning started. Really? Yeah, so this one has cold brew. I got the strawberry guava spritzer, which is an organic pink guava, fresh hand squeezed lime juice, and then some like sparkling water over the top. Mm, refreshing. It is refreshing. The last one, Thai iced tea. They said the Thai iced tea is kind of strong. Have some okay. drinks while we eat the donuts. Chocolate copro. Mine tastes really minty. Okay, moving on. Let's go with the chocolate. Double chocolate. Are you a big fan of chocolate? No, I'm not a big fan of chocolate. I'm more of vanilla white chocolate, not dark chocolate. I don't like chocolate that much. Nice. I feel like it, this one's less of a cream. Yeah, this is milk chocolate. Really? This one tastes alright to me. Not really special. The chocolate's really overfilling, like it's really big. Mm. I don't really like this one. It just tastes like a chocolate donut, to be honest. The dough, really good. The filling is, eh, 
It's kind of mediocre. Last one. Fruity Pebbles, they have mascarpone cream. Fruity Pebbles is like a kind of cereal, It's a right? cereal. Mm. I think they used the cereals to make this one. They did. Oh. They taste it. Okay. This one's really sweet. I think they definitely use real, like, Fruity Pebbles. That really reminds me of the cereals when mm -hmm. I had when I was a kid. This one is the, the sweetest. sweetest. by far. Yeah. I think the others would taste more to my liking. Really? The sweetness. But this one is a little bit too sweet for me. I like this one. I think that for all of them, the dough itself really balances everything out. So it doesn't matter how sweet the cream is. Except for the chocolate one. The chocolate one is just different. Which one do you like the most out of all of the... I like the strawberry one. You like the strawberry? I like the cream poulet more. I think the strawberry one is my favorite. Mm. Okay, so two strawberries and one cream poulet. Cream poulet is definitely good though. I think mine yeah. is like strawberry, cream poulet, fruity pebbles. Is it worth like the waiting and all the hype? Maybe. It depends. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on if you are willing to go to the place and then wait in line for maybe an hour and then get the donuts. Was it worth it for you? Yeah, it was pretty worth it for me. Like, it's good to try something new. Usually when I had the um, traditional American donuts, I didn't like them because okay. they are too sweet and a little bit too dense. But this one is, is good because I like the creamy fillings in the <laughs> middle. So it really depends on... Uh which rotation you go for. That's true. Mm. Because it's each week? No, it's or like every two weeks. Every yeah. two weeks they have a different rotation. If I saw a line that long, I wouldn't have gone. Yeah, but we have a purpose this morning <laughs> to purpose. go to this place. Sometimes you get cut up and then like, sorry, we sold out. We don't have any more donuts for you. Yeah, and then you just go home with a sad face. So just come early, maybe like right when they open. So yeah. you have more chance. So now we go into the next stop. back from the second stop. Dochi is what people call a mochi donut. It's a cross between a Japanese rice cake known as mochi and classic American fried donuts. So here is the box. What I like about this store is they have very good package. Yeah it's really fast too. There we go. So we got a half dozen. Mm -hmm. I think the price went up a little bit. It did. Yeah so For they like, also do they rotation, do rotation right? But yeah. they rotate this is like they rotate from the same Okay, let's try it. Okay. Shareable. Shareable and, and terrible. terrible. Let's try the, is it the taro pebbles? Mm -hmm. Cheers! Cheers! It's not really <coughs> fresh. Mm. I'm pretty sure they make it like before opening and they sell. The last time I had it, it's kind of quite warm. Oh really? Oh, is it the same cereals that we Yeah, it's had? the same fruity pebbles. Mm, fruity pebbles, like the one that we had at the foul box. I think it's like a really classic flavor. Like I don't taste the taro that much though, do you? No. <coughs> I taste a lot of the fruity pebble. Yeah, there's not really taro flavor on that. Only the icing, a hint of taro. But I think a lot of it's like synthetic. Like it's not real taro, not fresh taro. After the two donuts from two different places, I've realized that I don't like fruity pebbles, I guess. I think fruity pebbles is like a lot of American dessert places always include fruity pebbles. Like you'll always find. Yeah, a there was a lady but in front of us. She was so into fr <laughs> fruity, fruity pebbles. pebbles, right? Yeah. It's like a classic. It's a staple. Everyone, everyone, everyone loves fruity pebble taste. Next one. A big place. It looks really dry to me. It's oh. also purple inside. So on top, it has some kind of plates, very thinly placed. <clears throat> I think this one's always my least favorite because I don't taste. It's like not nothing. It's not anything super special. It doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. To me. <laughs> it tastes like a, just a dough. Yeah, and it's like dry. But the texture is always. I think the texture when you bite into it is good. Yeah. Like for everything, for all of them. So far, it's just been fried dough. Yeah. Not really much of. Okay, next one. I think I would like this one. Are you a fan of matcha? I am a fan of matcha. Mm -hmm. Lena is not a fan of matcha. Not... Don't take her comment on this one. <laughs> take well. it with a grain of salt. I think it's white chocolate pearl on top. Cheers! Cheers. Mm, the inside. I don't like matcha. I will say that it tastes like more fresh matcha than other mm. places I've had before. I love this one. The best out of all that we have so far. The three flavors. Mm -hmm. I think that the topping with the, the frosting on top really makes the flavor. 
because otherwise like that's why the ube glaze tastes like nothing whenever i come to this place they always have the ube glaze it's a classic for them but yeah but it doesn't taste like anything. anything okay let's do this one choco churro the only real churro i've had is like costco churro that's classic whenever you go to costco you have a either churro. pizza churro hot dog and then ice cream my youngest brother's favorite thing there is ice cream really yeah he loves ice cream. Cheers! Cinnamon taste, chocolate drizzle on top. It's really not that very cinnamony. Cinnamony. Cinnamony or oh, sales buns, I said. <laughs> yeah. Kind of cinnamon taste, but not that strong. Next this one looks one. the best. I think it looks more so fun. Tastes like strawberry pocky. It tastes like pocky. It's really sweet though. The pockets on top add a different texture. It's a bit crunchier. It is sweet, but also there's a hint of sourness. It's tart. Yeah, it's kind of tart. Which mm -hmm. is pretty nice. Okay, let's move on to the last one. Cream cookies cookies and, and dreams. Really? Yeah, they call it cookies and dreams. Cheers! Cheers. I think it just tastes like Oreo. They play it really safe. Because mm. they're not new or special flavors. Sometimes I go back to Dochi and then I expect them to have different flavors. These keep appearing just like the same. I hope they're gonna experiment more. I think that what they did was they have the base of the dough. That's like the same for every single donut that they have. They just change up like the flavoring of it. If we talk about the dough, it's not airy like the other one that we had. It's which more is chewy. Actually, kind of perfect for bite size. And the real difference is because it's dochi, so yeah. more like the mochi. So mochi is chewy. It's this more one like is kind of I chewier. think sticky. Yeah. So out of all, which one do you like the most? I like which the strawberry pocky. One? You like strawberry from both places. Yeah. I think the matcha is gonna be my favorite. Okay, I agree. I like matcha. I think she doesn't like matcha. I just That's don't why like she, matcha. she doesn't appreciate this matcha flavor. <laughs> but I think it definitely tastes like fresh matcha. Mm, yeah. So I get it. Okay, so that's a wrap for the second place that we stopped. Yeah. Let's go to the last one. Hi! We are back at our last place. What is it called? Legendary Donuts! Legendary Donuts! Ooh. It has been a long time since they tried American Donuts. I introduced this place. I think it has something related to her childhood. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, my mom really likes this place too. And I just used to go here for like birthdays and stuff like that because they're huge donuts. Huge donuts. Like this one is one donut. Whoa, look at this maple and bacon It's maple donuts. and bacon. Out of all of the American donuts places we have in Seattle, I choose the one that Alina's introduced me. So, let's try it! I love this place. So this one's called the Leonardo da Vinci. This it's is like classic. Classic glazed donut. Okay, I am so prepared to get a sugar rush after this one. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Normal for me. A little the bit bottom is salty. salty. Yeah, mm -hmm. the bottom is salty. Is it kind of like typical American fried donut? Yeah, the bottom normally has a more neutral, salty ish taste, and the top is like super sweet. Like the frosting sweet. Okay. That's why it makes you thirsty. I'm not super familiar with American fried donuts, so bottom. this is my first time really analyzing the texture. The moment I put my teeth on the top layer of that donut, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> the dough is really nice, though. It is airy. I like the donut, not the glazing on top. Next one is called Irish Cream Boots Balls. The whole thing is cream. Wow. Doesn't taste like Bailey's to me. What's Bailey's? Like, oh, yeah, I'm sure you don't know that. It's like Irish Cream Alcoholic Like beverage. a liquor? Yeah, a liquor. It's, it's really like milky? creamy. Milky, creamy, two or three years ago, Starbucks lunch and Irish Cream Cold Brew. And this tastes a little bit similar to that. Not exactly the same, but this is a lot sweeter. Next thing, what is cannoli? A cannoli, I think it's one of those European where it's like a hard outer shell and it's filled with cream inside. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so sweet. Even sweeter than this one? It's almost like condensed milk. They said the filling is sweet cream. Wait, I think it's not as sweet as the other one. Really? I think so. This doesn't taste like the sweet cream that I know. It should be called sweet, 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 sweet cream. Oh, I know. It tastes like the vanilla pudding. Like I know the vanilla, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the vanilla pudding at the, the, like, those buffet places, you know? It's the same vanilla pudding that they have in like the containers that you get at the hospital. Yes, those. Yeah, yeah. This is like 
Very similar to that. And the biscuit outside is kind of like one more. It's like a, it's, <laughs> it's like a cracker. Whoa! Oh, this size is longer than my face. Mm. <clears throat> this one's what they're. This is what everyone comes for. So Small it is maple, bacon. right? The, it's a maple the, bar. My first time trying donut with bacon. I've had this type of bacon, like a maple bar with bacon, a lot. Mm, crunchy as well. When you have something very sweet, if something salty and savory, it can balance it out. I can definitely see why this one is the most popular choice in this store. I feel like I cannot myself finish the whole thing. I used to finish whole thing. I think you're like a French dessert type of person. Yeah, I think so. Like tiramisu. Like and, like, if they make it too sweet, I would not like it either. I'm a fan of this type of stuff. Mm. Like when I was a kid, my dad, because he had a night shift, he had a graveyard shift, he would come home and bring Top Pot donuts. Oh. Which are like really cheap donuts, but they were so good. And I like... Yeah, it's like your childhood memory. It's my childhood yeah. memory. Okay, rate this one. My favorite is the bacon donut. Me too. Yeah, 100% Out of bacon. all, yes. the best here. Always. Okay. So we finished this one. Let's rate. I think number one is like the flower box. Mm. That one was like perfect in the middle. And then legendary donuts and then gochi. Okay. I just like legendary donuts. Okay, it's yeah, it, it, it it's connected to your special childhood. Special place in my heart. Okay, so for me, I would put the flower box first. It's not too sweet. It's more special. It's worth the wait as well. And the second one would be Dochi. I'm sorry, legendary donut. The bacon donut is not bad. If you go to this place, definitely check out the bacon donut. The flower box is on the top. And then my second place is probably Dochi, just because of the fun size that it has. And also, I kind of like the chewy texture. The legendary donuts, it is way too sweet for me. I think American would really love it though. Yeah, because we, we grew up in Vietnam and we usually have the... Okay, I like sweet, but it's like Vietnamese sweet, not like American sweet. So it might be too sweet for me. But Alina, <laughs> real example of American. I like sweet. I grew up on sweet. Like I, yeah, yeah. I like when I tried the things that you guys call like sweet, like meat fresh and like mm. the other dessert places, I don't think it's as sweet as like, oh. it's not sweet. That's it for today. So that's the end of our episode. Donut! Don't forget to subscribe, like, and suggest to me more places that you guys want me to visit. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!